Hey there, uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about minor and major pentatonics, what they mean, um, some people think of them as the box, some people call them some kind of blues scale. I want to just explain how all that stuff works, why they work, um, and how to apply them. Um, so I'm going to jump up here and uh, we're going to chat about it. So we talk about the minor pentatonic scale, we call it the box. You know, when you're playing a blues, you do something like that. You'll see some kind of deal like that. We use it all the time. Um, what people get confused about, it seems like, is like, when do I use this thing? Like, if I'm in G, should I go to G minor pentatonic at the third fret and play that? Well, maybe you can. Or do I do G major pentatonic? So first of all, we have to kind of establish what the difference between the major pentatonic and the minor pentatonic is. A major pentatonic scale is, and you need to know your intervals to know this, if we take this, we're going to start, we're just going to use the familiar box for this lesson, which if you don't know it, it's 5, 8, 5, 7, 5, 7, 5, 7, 5, 8, 5, 8. We're going to do it in the key of C major, which is synonymous with A minor, um, but just the names of these notes you should probably know too. A, C, D, to E, to G, to A. There's your five notes in the pentatonic. Back to the octave, which is A. C, D, E, G, A, and C. Wouldn't be a bad idea to memorize the names of those notes before we start doing this. So first things first, um, this box we use all the time. We often assume that this note here is going to be our root. Well, either one of these notes can be our root. If um, this note here is A, this would be our A minor pentatonic. If we start on this note and play the same shape, which is C, we get a C major pentatonic. So let's talk about what that means. The key of C major has no sharps and flats. If you don't know your circle of fifths, you, you probably should. But if I were to play a C major scale, right, it'd be C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. This is important to just know before you build this because uh, the C major pentatonic or any major pentatonic scale is built of the intervals or the scale degrees. One, which is our root, this is C. Two, which is D. 3, which is E, so we have a root, a major second, a major third, and then we have a G, which is a perfect fifth, right, a little Star Wars thing, and then we have a major sixth, right, and then we, and then we jump back up to the, to, the, to the root, so we have root, and you should know this, root, 2, 3, 5, 6, and root, right. So the major pentatonic sounds awesome over um, like a C chord. If you're playing a song in C, right? Imagine this in your head. This would be right. That would work just great. Now, so that's C major pentatonic. Another way to think about this box shape is if I take the G major scale or the G major chord, barred at the fifth fret, it becomes G A B C. Right? And so this, this scale shape comes out of this, boy that's tough, out of this G major barred shape. Right? Pretty cool, huh? Okay. So that's major pentatonic. If you're like doing a one, four, five or something like that, or um, you'll see a lot of this in bluegrass and like old timey stuff. But it's important to know that this is our root for this scale. So if we're in the key of G, we do it down here in the open position. If we're in the key of E, we might do it, we do it up here. Pinky on the 12th fret on E. It's critical that you know the names of the notes in your sixth string to do this exercise. B, e, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. You probably know that by now, but if you don't, you know, take some time, push pause, come back later, learn the names of the notes. Those are our, those are our roots. Major pentatonic. Root, second, third, fifth, and sixth. Back to root. So against a C major chord, which has a root, a third, and a fifth, there's nothing here that's going to sound really dissonant or not really pretty. It's a very colorful, kind of light, safe scale to play over a major key. Now, the minor pentatonic, right, if we start on A um, and we play the same notes we just did, if we take C, D, E, G, um, excuse me, C, D, E, G, A, 
and C, and we play them in a different order, they're going to sound different. If I play A, C, D, E, G, A, now we get this like real bluesy. We get that real kind of bluesy rock sound. Okay, it's a very different sound, and if we if we use this, if we can think of A as our root, hang in here. This is going to get intense for a second. What is A major's key signature? Well, A major has three sharps. To play an A major scale, you have A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, and A. There's three sharps, F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. Very important to know if you don't know your circle of fifths, learn your circle of fifths. Get my book. Um, so now, so if we were playing this scale and relating it to an A, A is our root. Well, remember, in the key of A major, C sharp is a third. But A minor pentatonic has a C natural. That's a flatted third. Minor third sounds really bluesy. Flatted third. A, we call this flat three because it's the flatted third in the key of A major. Does that make sense? Good. A is root, flat three, D is a perfect fourth, E is a perfect fifth in the key of A, That's what we, and then our other note is G natural. G natural in the minor pet, in, in the key of A major is a flatted seventh. A major, A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, that's the seventh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If we take that note and flat it one step, we call it a flatted seventh. So in this key, we have a flatted seventh, right? So root, minor third, perfect fourth, perfect fifth, flatted seventh, back to root. Now, if we're using this, um, hang in there. We're doing, we pretty much got this thing. If we're um, playing in the key, oh, here comes the plane. So if we're, if we're in the key of C major, we play C major pentatonic and we're all good, right? But if we're in the key of C major, could we play C minor pentatonic at the 8th fret? Because a lot of people be like, oh man, I'm just rocking out in C here. And they think, oh, I'm going to use the box here at the 8th fret. It's going to be so cool. Well, you can, but know this. that, And let's go back to A just to kind of make sense of it. Let's say we're playing in the key of A major, and it has three sharps. We're just strumming along, having a great time little one, four, five progression, right? Doing it up. We go to take a solo break and we think, oh, I'm going to try A major pentatonic, right? It's, everything sounds cool. Nice and pretty, but you want to put a little bit of a bite to it. You might want to try A minor pentatonic. Now, if you play a minor pentatonic um, scale over a major chord you get, or a major, and a major key, you get some cool action. Um, very important to know that the flatted third is what we call a blue note in a given key. So in the key of A major, if I play an A major chord, and, I, and over that I play a C, here's one. The flatted third against a major chord gives that blue sound. You've heard it all the time. The other note in this key, A is the root, flatted third, that's pretty bluesy, right? That's why we get this kind of like really neat bluesy sound. Flatted third, the other note in this key that's also really bluesy. The perfect fourth and the perfect fifth, not so bluesy. Like they don't really, a D and an E. Don't add too much bite. G natural, the flatted seventh, is another very bluesy sounding tone. So um, here's E, G. So if I play an A, and I'm like doing a blues with my buddy, and I throw this G on there. That's a bluesy sound, right? So here we are using the minor pentatonic scale in the key of in an A major blues. It sounds bluesy because this minor pentatonic scale, I'm just going to beat this into your head, has the flatted third and a flatted seventh, right? That being said, you could still do A major pentatonic. It'll sound a little bit more like kind of something kind of 50s ish or you know a little bit more old school both of them work and so a lot of times in a given key if I'm saying I'm an A again and I'm doing it 
That's like A minor pentatonic. This is a nice drone. Well, if I do the thing in A major, right, almost has more of like a kind of bluegrassy feel there. So that explains it. Minor pentatonic, root flat three, four, five, flat seven, root, major pentatonic, root two, three, five, major sixth, root. Huh. Name that tune. You got it. Okay. Okay. Let me know if you have any questions. This is a lot of business. Pretty exciting. Good luck.